I'm gonna stand up here for like attention. Wow. All right, so everyone tells you to marry your best friend. Liz really fucked that up for us, didn't she, Adam? <laughs> I'm kidding, you can't marry your brother. I get it, I get it. For those of you who don't know, I'm Matthew, I'm Adam's. Oh, I'm gonna start crying already. No. <laughs> I'm Adam's younger brother, I've been 15 months, and we've been through a lot together. Everything, really. And uh, I remember his first girlfriend. I won't get into all that, but <laughs> she had a birthday party at the Waverly Mansion in New Canaan. And uh, honestly, it was early high school, that party. There was a lot of raunchy games we played. Not really wedding safe. But there's one we all know, it's in the bottle. I'm 13 years old. Not only have I never kissed a girl, but I'm with the girls, the grade above me, the girls who are becoming women. <laughs> this guy knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> I was so scared, I was so nervous, um, but I never felt out of place. Adam didn't bring me to that party because mom told him to. He brought me because he wanted me there. I was, I was gonna cry later, but. <laughs> I was never there as Adam's little brother. I was always there as Adam's best friend. And even though I was so scared and nervous, all I had to do was look across the spinning bottle, <laughs> meet my brother's eyes, <laughs> and know that I was safe and everything was gonna be okay. It's weirder when I say it in front of you all. <laughs> And uh, yeah, that's how it always was for us. I've looked at him, I've looked up to Adam as a role model my whole life. I've watched him and observed, observed him. I've learned how to behave and act. I would do my best to be as funny, witty, and as cool as him. How to be a good friend to others, and how to be a great son to our parents. He still texts me every year to remind me to get a Mother's Day card from mom. <laughs> Dad, you didn't get one this year because Adam didn't text me. <laughs> Our whole lives, we always said we weren't just brothers, we were best friends. And when we all think of our greatest friends, we think about the people in our lives who we can talk to for an hour and it feels like 10 minutes. These people make us laugh, we make them laugh. They celebrate us and our wins and victories, and we celebrate theirs. They will give us their shoulder to cry on and know that they have ours. Most of all, they challenge us to be our best selves, and we do the same for them. Even if the truth is hard to say, it's always coming from love. Unfortunately, after 30 years, I feared I was never able to give Adam as much as he has given me and all his guidance and his friendship. He's been my leader my entire life, uh, even a therapist once said, your brother seems like a father figure. I was like, holy shit, you're right. Weird. So in 2018, I left New York City. I moved to Colorado to pursue entrepreneurship. I got really into mindset work, getting in touch with my emotions, feelings, meditation, spirituality, spirituality, energy. Some of what you may call woo-woo. <laughs> and after 30 years, I honestly thought this would be the thing that would cause us to drift apart. Different careers, living thousands of miles away. I stopped watching sports as much. <laughs> We're just living different lives. But over the last few years, something special has happened. Slowly over the phone, Adam and I began talking about mindset and energy, feelings, relationships, leadership in business and storytelling. I was given the opportunity to teach him some of the things I had been learning since living in the East Coast. Just when I thought we may drift apart, we began developing an entirely new level of friendship and a deeper sense of love for each other. If I'm being honest, a little egotistical, I was pretty proud of myself <laughs> for all the growth I've done. The man I looked up to my whole life is now listening to me, asking me for advice and support. And I realized something. Maybe me 
and my mullet that I had before getting the haircut for this wedding <laughs> weren't as woke as I thought I was. I would come back to the East Coast and I would visit Adam and his new girlfriend Liz. We would, of course, take the long way home in the Jeep with the doors off around Ocean Ave and we would talk about work, leadership, relationship, and our futures. And this is where I break down. And then Liz. Liz would always surprise me with the most beautiful ideas and thoughts. She'd ask such thoughtful questions. Offer new perspectives that would give me so much insight and a new lens on how to live life and how to approach relationships and even with myself. That's when I realized it's not all about you, Matt. <laughs> It's actually Liz. <laughs> it's Liz from over the last three years, plus through her kindness, compassion, thoughtfulness, and love, has inspired a new level of growth for Adam. It's Liz who's allowed me to access the deeper side of my brother, one filled with more love and connection than I ever imagined possible. Because that's what best friends do. They challenge you to grow in the person into a better, in the, into the best person you can be. You two have found something so special. I know it because every time I'm around you two, whether it's at the Pearl, <laughs> it's peering through the chicken wire of a paddle match, or even Liz walking down the aisle today at St. Mary's. Every time I'm home, I can see you two look through the crowd, look at each other, and through the nerves, anxiety, and fear, you can find each other, make eye contact and know that you are safe, and everything's gonna be okay. It's just what Adam's done for me for 34 years. I'm so happy Adam has found another best friend, one who we can poke in the ribs and call Betsy Boo. <laughs> one who we can challenge and be challenged by, a true friend who he can be fully himself with. Most of all, someone who he can unapologetically pour all his love into and have that same love pour back into him. There's nobody in the world I want to call my only sister. <laughs> And there's nobody in the world besides myself that I would want besides Adam for the rest of his life. <laughs> I love you two so much. Congratulations. Let's raise our glasses. Uh, this is to best friends with a single look can make you feel safe and at home. Adam and Liz. Give it up for Matthew.